What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe to that like button for me. So, this is going to be a funny video here, man. And I was sitting back looking at some of the old WWF clips from the mid-90s, right? And there was a time where they brought Ron Simmons in. Now, for those who don't know who Ron Simmons, man, Ron Simmons was the first black, Af first black, uh, WCW champion, he opened up a lot of doors, powerhouse, one of the greats to ever do it. And see, what I liked about Ron was Ron was a straight take no prisoners, he was strictly business, and he didn't take no shit from these motherfuckers, and that was the way Ron stand out. So, in 1996, they bring him in. Now, they bring him in, and he dressed up like a, like a PG, PG Disney villain, where he kicked Ahmed Johnson in the ribs. And that was, and what people don't know, that was a legitimate kick. He kicked Ahmed so hard in the kid, they almost ended his career. So... He got in line with the kick, and you know, he started doing several matches under Farouk Assad. That was his name, Farouk Assad. I was like, what the hell? So, then, later on, that wasn't working. But the few when Ahmed Johnson was catching heat. So, what he did was, he switched it up. He switched it up into some militant stuff. And I'm going to tell you all what went down with that. I bet you this how it went. Vince McMahon watched the Million Man March. Cause this was around that time period where the Million Man March was with 95, but that, that energy was still out there. That militant energy was out there. And you know, the world was going through a transition. I bet you it went like this. Vince McMahon invited Ron Simmons to his office. <clears throat> I'm going to do a good reenactment here. Have a seat there, Ron. So, tell me about yourself. You're going to the World Wrestling Federation, and you're coming from the competition, and let me know what it is. Well, let me tell you about this, man. I'm from, I'm Ron Simmons. I'm from, I'm from WCW. All-American football player. Now stop right there. Stop right there. We need something that's going to energize the market so to speak. Because see, Ron, we're moving into a different phase. And I was watching uh, the Million Man March with uh, Louis Farrakhan. And we're going to call you Farouk. Huh? Farouk. That's the name you're going to get. I'm going to give you a bunch of... We're gonna give you a, what, what, what they call it? A posse? Yeah, I'm going to give you a posse of militant, strong black men. And you're, and you're gonna run down white people. Well, but well, well, I don't do that. I'm not. That's not me, Ron. We gotta move with the times. Unfortunately, we move in this era where to say your prayers and eat your vitamins is passe. We're moving to reality now, Ron. So we're gonna do it. And so from there, that's where you start seeing the the character shift with Ron Simmons from Farouk. From Farouk Asai to Farouk. And he used to bring these white boys that go by the name of PG-13 to rap like them. It was still weird because it was a mixture. He had a Puerto Rican, Savio Vega. You had Crush, who was a white guy. They were part of this nation. So I was thinking maybe it was a nation of misfits. And because they didn't want to go like a pro-black pro nation because you didn't want to confuse it with the nation of Islam. So, later on, they changed it around. They brought uh, D'Lo Brown, they brought The Godfather, they brought Mar Henry, and, it became a, and then later The Rock, and it became an all-black nation. <clears throat> but I bet you that's how it went. Yeah, we're going to call you Farouk. And he just took on, Ron just took on what he felt at the time because a lot of black champions didn't get their fair shake. A lot of good black wrestlers. Then he went further, calling Ahmed Johnson and Uncle Tom. 
And one of the greatest promos I ever seen was the live wire joint with Ahmed and Farouk. They were talking that pull up ish. Oh my God, man, that was comedy. Y'all need to check that out. But that's exactly how it went, man. He went ahead and watched the, um, Million Man March. Vince got an idea because if you look, he watches a lot of TV, man. He watch, uh, more than you think. Why you think when he had Teddy Long up there on the Royal Rumble segue, where he said, you got a nice Louis Farrakhan suit? I was like, what? So I bet you that's how it went. That that character shift, he went ahead and watched some pro, either watched Malcolm X or he watched uh, Nate, uh, Million Man March and changed Farouk's whole character and then it became more militant. And you know what's this about Ron Simmons, though, is... The further he got out there, they had to dumb him down, though. They had to dumb him down, though, because he was talking a lot of real militant black-ish. And did he, they limit him to a catchphrase, which is damn. Now, I'm pretty sure he ain't complaining because that, that, that catchphrase made him a lot of money. But it's just crazy because Ron's mic skills was out of there, bro. So that's exactly what happened. We're going to name you Farouk. Go give you a posse. Then he sniffs some coke. That's exactly what we're going to give you. We're going to give you Farouk. And that's where it went. So, let me know what you guys think. This is King Ant signing out. Holla.